Hi, I'm Kevin Walder, your host for the Oracle Scroll. Thank you for putting up with our hiatus. We stretched it out as long as we could. And uh, yeah, there's still a lot to learn. And this has been a learning process. The last two years have been an extreme learning process for most of us. And in that period, we have learned a lot about ourselves. We've learned probably even more than we wanted to know about our communities. Uh, those are the communities in which we find ourselves as well as the communities that we have formed, the communities that we've invited to come along on this journey. So as we look back and try to make a sense of where we've been and, and make peace with where we've been, uh, it is a little bit interesting to try to understand where we are and how we're doing. The uh, divisions within society at large, um, that spreads everywhere. Uh, a very wise person once told me that in their work with the spiritual community, they came to realize that all the problems that exist in the world at large, in the, in the greater community, those same problems exist in the spiritual community. And as this person put it, uh, the only difference is some of us know what's wrong with us. So uh, that's kind of a, a, a light way of uh, saying what we're going through and, and what we're doing. Um, I have been personally, even before this pandemic began, um, I've been looking at my own spirituality and how it uh, affects me. What am I doing with it myself? What am I doing for my community? What am I actual? What are my goals? Um, some of those goals are meaningless to some people, and that's okay. Um, my goals don't have to mean anything to anyone but me, and that that applies across the board, vice versa. And I have come to a conclusion that uh, I am pretty much breaking away from some of the belief systems that I've held dear. Some of those belief systems have held over from uh, the early uh, conditioning of being raised in a very charismatic Christian kind of household. Uh, this was not my plan. This was not my uh, destiny. And so escaping that, then I found other institutions or uh, that's a very loose term to use for uh, some things that are uh, intentionally not institutions. Um, and I've learned that some of those have very similar rules, very similar expectations, and some of the same biases. And that has bothered me considerably. And so it made me feel like maybe I needed to come out and state my, oh, my view. How do I look at things? What am I thinking? How am I going to get there? And of late, I have finally reconciled exactly where I am. And that is what is good for one is not universally good for everyone. The medicine that we needed last year to get past a very serious illness might even kill us now if we were to apply it in the same way. So what we have to do is figure out when the medication has ceased to work, when it is no longer necessary, when it is no longer needed, and move on from there. And to that end, we really have to depend upon ourselves. We, I have yet to meet a person who doesn't have some sort of indication when things are going wrong, when I'm physically, emotionally, spiritually, every, every way in our lives. So when you have that kind of indication, then it's time to take a really serious look at what you're doing. No one else can save you from that. <laughs> that to that toil of actually examining yourself. No healer can do it for you. No seer can help you see beyond. 
the only thing we can do is what every single self-help author has ever done. And that is turn the mirror back to yourself and help you see, oh, how did I miss that? Help you see that thing that is the, well, what we would call the elephant in the room. That thing that is holding you back because you needed it so desperately once. And now it's just a burden. And that is what I'm here to encourage is how do we tap in to our own divinity? The part of ourselves that is our conscience, is our, is our barometer for getting us through all the, you know, the problems and the challenges and confrontations that we might have in life. How do we move forward? without totally despoiling everyone else's issues, their, their own, their own uh, medicine, let's say. Uh, because just as we have progressed beyond that need, there are those around us who are still very much in need. So we have to allow for them too. And that is a big challenge. We can't make rules. That's what, that's what makes religion so dysfunctional is it intends to make a rule that is universal, a rule that is going to take care of every person's problems and situations. And we cannot do that. We do not have that power. We have power over ourselves. And yes, you can call it whatever, whatever you like. You can call it the placebo effect, uh, but yes, Believing in yourself is a key part of maturing. So, as I have stated, uh, that's where I'm sitting with my second awakening or third awakening or whatever this is now. I've lost track of the numbers. But we are moving forward and I want to still want to talk to you about the new deck that I put together that is a tarot deck that actually speaks directly without the use of intimidating imagery or you know printed uh, meanings on the cards it's just there so that you can meditate and decide what does it mean to you because each of us is going to take away something different so after a long wait i'm inviting you to come join us as we explore this new tarot deck as well as a lot of other things that have to do with our own spiritual survival. Welcome back, and thanks for waiting. Thank you for joining us for this episode of the Oracle Scroll. Please visit my website at kevinwalder.com where you can purchase any of the services that I offer. Also, check out my books, uh, Tarot for Lunch, Lessons from the Cards, and 22 Teachers, Healing Lessons from the Major Arcana. Both are available now at Amazon.com. And most importantly, never miss another episode. Click below, click the subscribe button and the bell to make sure you're always up to date.